This is not a third world country. If you don't get your way, you don't blow up the court and kill the justices. But apparently that's what some people in America think is, is appropriate. Representative Scott Perry, who is also involved in trying to get Clark appointed as Attorney General, has refused to testify here. As you will see, Representative Perry contacted the White House in the weeks after January 6th to seek a presidential pardon. Multiple other Republican congressmen also sought presidential pardons for their roles in attempting to overturn the 2020 election. Mr. President, sadly, but resolutely, I object to the electoral votes of my beloved Commonwealth of Pennsylvania on the grounds of multiple constitutional infractions that they were not, under all of the known circumstances, regularly given. And on this occasion, I have a written objection signed by a senator and 80 members of the House of Representatives. This is not a third world country. If you don't get your way, you don't blow up the court and kill the justices. But apparently that's what some people in America think is, is appropriate. The speaker said no one is in danger. No one is in danger after an assassination attempt. I don't know if I'd feel very protected on the very day of the assassination attempt in violation of the law. In violation of the law, protesters at the very house of the Supreme Court justice being intimidated by protesters. The speaker says that no one's in danger. I don't want to engage in personality, so I might say a high-ranking official on the other side of the Capitol here said, you have released the whirlwind. You won't know what hit you. There's no escape, Pelosi, Schumer, Nadler. We're coming for you. We're coming in like white on rice for Pelosi, Nadler, <laughs> Schumer, even you, AOC. We're coming to take you out. And then down the street, Pennsylvania Avenue, a high-ranking official said, well, said there might be a mini revolution. Does that sound not like intimidation to you? Because it sure sounds like it to me. I don't know my, my friends on the other side of the aisle want to happen. I don't know. I'm not in their heads and I'm not in their hearts. But I listen to what they say and I watch what they do. We should have passed this much, much longer ago when it was available to us. And the fact that we didn't might be the cause for people to come to assassinate a United States Supreme Court justice.